I'm Ted Costas, and I'll be with you from 9 till noon. Is voting today on the president's latest nominee for secretary of the I'm Harrison Green. Forget we're going to the Capitol Lawn concert tomorrow night. They're playing Bach. Do I have to go to Bach? <laughs> yes. I want to expose you to the nobler aspects of the arts. Besides, the place is crawling with horny chicks. <laughs> While we're on the subject, did I mention that I have a date tomorrow night? Yes, yes. Harrison. 28 years old. Met her last weekend. A former gymnast. <laughs> Did I mention that? Yes. yes, Harrison. Really can't say any more. Decorum, you know. <laughs> Did I mention she wanted to have her way with me right there in the rowboat? Yes, yes Harrison. Well, keep it to yourselves. <laughs> Look, if you're not doing anything tomorrow, it says here that there's going to be a meteor shower. What do you say? We drive down to Virginia Beach, buy some soft-shell crabs, cook them on the beach, and lie on our back and watch the shooting stars. Well, thanks, Jay, but uh, tomorrow I was going to stay home and spackle my kitchen. Oh, great! Great idea! <laughs> Gretchen, did those uh, tickets for tomorrow night's Flying Fish concert come in? Oh, great! No. I've been playing these guys' demos on the show for a year. Man, you want to hear them live. Well, there are two tickets. Well, uh, you want to go? Well, sure, why not? <laughs> Uh, sorry. I had to. Oh, no. It's work. Sure. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, <laughs> Some people would say, forget about her, she's not interested in you. Myself, I'd listen to those people. <laughs> you busy tomorrow night? I'm sorry? Are you doing anything? Yes. Why? Jonathan and I were wondering if you'd like to come to dinner. Gee, that sounds like a lot of fun, but uh, gosh, I got a concert to go to. Work, you know. Right. Busy, 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 never lets up. I see. So going to this concert is more important than your daughter. Well, how did Maude get into this? Well, I just think it would be really good for her to see that her father and stepfather get along and like each other. Get along. <laughs> Don't spit on each other. <laughs> oh, come on, just do this for Maude, okay? Okay, I'll come. For Maud. Okay, um, 7 o'clock, wear a tie. Nothing with a hula dancer on it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Here, take someone. At least you'll have fun tomorrow night. Gee, thanks. Uh, Jay, do you... Flying fish? What the heck? Your kitchen can wait. <laughs> Daddy, come on in. Oh, hi, honey. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where's the gift shop? Not exactly cozy, is it? There's no place you want to curl up. Oh, I don't know. Coffee table looks pretty comfortable. <laughs> ah, you're here. Good. Daddy. Jonathan E. <laughs> well, it's about time we did this, isn't it? <laughs> I thought this would never happen. <laughs> nice digs. Yeah, well, it's coming along. We're not quite happy with the lighting yet. You know how long it takes to get the pin spots focused on the paintings just so. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, 
Ted, Ted, would you like me to give you a little tour of the rest of the house? No, nah, that's okay. Just rent me the cassette and headphones. I'll do it myself. <laughs> hey, Daddy, you want to see my room? Sure, I'd love to. While you're up there, show Ted how good you've gotten on that new computer we bought you. Computer? We were going to buy her the cheap one, but she had such an aptitude. For it, I said, why be a jerk for just another fifty-four hundred dollars? Oh, that's my ride. Your ride? Well, I thought we were all having dinner. No, I'm going to movies. Bye. <laughs> See you guys. Just make sure you're home by eleven. On a Saturday night, heck, eleven thirty is fine. <laughs> I'm afraid the rule in this house is 11. You know, I have to be up early tomorrow anyway. I'd better be home by 11. Have fun, you guys. Well, hi, Mom. Hi, Leslie. I didn't know you were coming. Have a nice time. Leslie, it's nice to see you back in circulation. Oh, you look terrific, as usual. Thank you. Come on in. <laughs> There's someone we'd like you to meet. Uh, this is our friend, Leslie Witter. <laughs> Leslie, this is Ted Costas. It's nice to meet you. Look, I'm sorry I'm a little late. I've just had a hellish day. My three-year-old broke a leg and we had to shoot her. <laughs> a horse. Oh, oh, oh. I remember when my first horse died. I was a kid. It was awful. I lost a goldfish once. <laughs> well, I guess you can't flush a horse. <laughs> started doing that at the concert Saturday night, scared everyone away within a 30-yard radius. Those two girls who stayed thought that I was interesting. Of course they thought you were interesting. They were psychiatric caseworkers. <laughs> Speaking of wild and crazy, no doubt you're all curious about my weekend with my date. <clears throat> ah. Harrison, forgive me, I'm very busy. I have to rewrite a grant proposal this morning, and I don't have time for anyone's weekend recap. <sighs> so, Ted, tell me all about Saturday night. <laughs> it was awful. Leanne set me up with a blind date. Although mine wasn't a blind date. <laughs> blind folds did figure largely in the evening. <laughs> But to say more would be indelicate. I hope you understand. <laughs> Her name's Leslie. She's a, a tremendously attractive woman. She's smart, good sense of humor. Boy, I could really go for her, except for one thing. She is incredibly rich, which gives me the willies. Being wealthy isn't so bad. Well, I look at it this way. When I'm out fundraising for this station, I find I can seldom get large grants from the poor. <laughs> So, Gretchen, how was the Flying Fish concert the other night? Ah, Flying Fish. Oh, great. You're right, they're wonderful. We went backstage afterwards and they asked me to give you their new demo tape. Great. I'll start the show with it. <laughs> hey, I haven't heard this one. Uh, tell me about, uh, Kinky Kind of Love. Is it any good? Please, stop hounding me. <laughs> I've said too much already. Hey, Jay, how was your weekend? Oh, great, fabulous, incredible, maybe the primo weekend of my entire life. What'd you do? Oh, nothing much. <laughs> oh, come on, Jay, what happened? Well, I know everyone thinks I'm just wasting my time with Gretchen. I mean, what is a girl like her seeing a divinity school dropout like me? Well, Saturday night, I did it, I scored. <laughs> it's a nine o'clock. No. Good morning, Georgetown. I'm Ted Costas. The program's Long Day's Journey into Lunch, and we're listening to a new one by the Flying Fish, a kinky kind of love. Score? <laughs> I kissed her. Oh, man, those lips. Jay. <laughs> Kissing a person isn't scoring. Oh, well, what is? Oh. <laughs> uh. That. No, 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 we didn't score. Not, not in the biblical sense. Gosh, no, no. 
Uh, look, Ted, you're the you're the only person I've told. Well, I won't even breathe a word. Morning, Jay. Have a good weekend. I scored. <laughs> so what's up with you? I did not appreciate that little stunt Saturday night. What stunt? First, you get me over to the house thinking that I have to do something for my daughter. And then I find out that Maude is going out and the whole thing was just a ruse to fix me up with Leslie. Fix you up? I simply invited you to dinner. I invited her to dinner. And that's not a fix-up? No. And for your information, Leslie isn't even interested in a relationship. She's just come off a difficult divorce. Oh. Well, uh, I'm sorry. It just looked a lot. Well, like... it wasn't. Sorry you had such an awful time. It wasn't an awful time. Well, you obviously didn't like Leslie well, I didn't all. say that. She's very attractive. She's very you nice. Mean, you did like her? Well, yes. What's that? Her phone numbers. Home, car, boat. <laughs> Flying Fish is playing again Friday night. They're sending you another pair of tickets. Great. I'll take them. I wouldn't mind seeing them again myself. Well, in that case... Hi, Ted. Leslie. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm going to dinner in the theater with Leanne. Oh, well, she's in the studio, right? Uh, Gretchen, would you tell Leanne that Leslie's here? Uh, sure. <sighs> Leslie. <laughs> well... You look terrific. Thank you. So, this is WGEO, huh? I pictured it differently. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Harrison Green, Leanne's co-host. I pictured a lot of things differently. <laughs> oh, it's this, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of people think I don't sound bearded. <laughs> Leslie, I'm sorry. Have you been waiting long? Well, look at you. How do you manage to look so great all the time? <laughs> uh, Ted, Leslie and I are going to go see that new musical at the Kennedy Center. Ah, yes, I saw that. I'm a drama critic also, you know. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. <laughs> Ted, um, if you're not doing anything, I've already seen it, you could have my ticket. Oh, gee, that sounds like a lot of fun, but the uh, thing is, I'm just loaded with work here. Well, maybe some other time. Do you mind taking two different cars? I think I'll go straight home after the theater. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. I'll meet you there. Don't work too hard tonight. Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> it's nice seeing you. You're not busy. She's a lovely woman. And thanks to you, she's going straight home from the theater all by herself. You already gave me her numbers. Well, you didn't use them. A certain Kennedy would love that information and can't get it. A few years ago, Prince Andrew tried to get it. He begged, he pleaded, he failed, and then he invaded the Falklands. <laughs> Leanne, why don't you leave it up to me who I'm attracted to and who I'm not, huh? <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to call Leslie, obviously I would have called her. Leslie? <laughs> Hi, it's Ted. <laughs> God, the reception on these car phones is amazing. Sounds like you're right next door. Oh, you're still in the parking lot. Well, <laughs> I guess you still are next door, huh? <laughs> uh, listen, I'm sorry. Uh, things didn't work out for tonight, but I was thinking maybe we could get together sometime this weekend. To your country house. <laughs> Me? Well, sure. I guess I could free myself up for the weekend. Good. Goodbye. Ted, <laughs> did you uh, forget you had those tickets to the Flying Fish? Oh, no. Well, I know you want to go. Well, Ted J. Oh. Ted. <laughs> I thought I smelled something burning earlier in the record library, and now it seems to be getting strong. What? <laughs> oh, fire department. There's no fire. I've got a big problem with Jay. I don't know how I let this happen. Last Saturday, after the concert... Dad, Gretchen, what happened wasn't that big a deal. He told you? He told you he put his hand on my... Well, uh, uh, no. Uh, actually, uh, he just told me that he kissed you, not that he touched the, uh, the, the... I mean, that's what we're talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. I let him kiss me, and, uh... 
Well, then suddenly I realized his hand was there, and I don't know. I didn't take it away because I didn't want to hurt him. And now I don't want him to get the wrong idea. You tell him what the right idea is. <laughs> he can take it. Jay's a sensible guy. He's not going to lose his head over nothing. Fire department, get over to WGEO right away. There's a fire in the record library, and I can't, I can't find it. <laughs> Yes, the oil tanker moron Valdez has run aground in the reflecting pool of the Washington Monument. I have the skipper of the vessel, Horatio Lunchblower, standing here with me. How did this happen, Captain? Well, I saw that big lighthouse there, and that's not the lighthouse, that's the Washington Monument. Oh. I guess this is in Helsinki, huh? <laughs> As we watch, the crew is attempting to back the huge vessel out of the pool. Beep, 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 beep. Moan back. Moan back. Beep, beep. Oh! Oh! Look out! How could anyone call you a wimp? I felt the earth move. <laughs> well, that is it from the Capitol Mall. Be with us again next time on Spill of the Week, when our spill will be... on Golden Palm. <laughs> For the blues is three hours of reggae, reggae, reggae. So tune in Saturday nights at 8 right here to WGEOFF. But now, man. Good evening. This is Quentin Lamoureux welcoming you to the Classics Chef. <laughs> If I ask you to the Flying Fish concert... Oh, great! What time? I'll be there. If I ask you, you have to understand that we cannot pick up where we left off last Saturday night. Oh. You mean no, uh... Right. No. <laughs> How about kissing? No. How about... spackling your kitchen? Well, okay. Great! <laughs> What? I'm still in. <laughs> Going somewhere? Yeah. With Leslie to her place in Virginia. You seem delirious about it. You know, I just can't get past the fact that Leanne is behind this. Dad, why don't you just relax and enjoy yourself with her? At least until I can hit her up for a donation. Hi, is Ted here? Ah, uh, you must be Leslie. Hi, I'm Naomi Sayer, station manager. What's this? Oh, uh, pledge envelope. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a <laughs> force of habit. <laughs> oh, what the hell? For $50, you get a nice T-shirt. For $50,000, you get a thousand T-shirts. I'll bear that in mind. Well, Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, you ready? Almost. I just have some work to take with me. This place of yours, it's um, big. Not really. It's just a little six-room cottage. Uh, on 500 acres. <laughs> Leanne said it would bother you that I've got money. Leanne told you about me. What did she say? That you're a terrific guy. That you never take any time off and that you're a workaholic. Well, she was wrong about me, wasn't she? Do you ever wonder why Leanne's trying to fix us up? We're going to talk about Leanne a lot this weekend. Uh, not unless you bring her name out. Let's go. So, Leanne said I'd never take a vacation. <laughs> why are you doing this? 
Doing what? Dad, we thought you were in Virginia with Leslie. I asked her to drop me off here. Drop you off here? Why? Oh, you know how I am with vacations. Old workaholic. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Going somewhere? Oh, no, 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 no. Jonathan's just uh, taking Maude to an event at school. Stepfather-daughter night. <laughs> Progressive school. But if you uh, need to talk to us, we don't have to go. Yes, we do, Jonathan. You're cooking. But perhaps Ted would benefit from another man's point of view. Uh, well, we'll call you if we need one, darling. Um, Y'all just have a wonderful time. Bye. You didn't even go? Something came up. What? Your name. Over and over. Well, what are you talking about me for? Oh, well, it seemed only fair. You and Leslie talked so much about me. Was that so bad? I built you up. I told her what a great guy you Why? are. Why? Why did you do that? Because you are a great guy and you deserve to be happy. Why is it so important that I'm happy with Leslie? Well, it's not. Look, it wasn't my idea to fix you two up in the first place. It was... It was Jonathan's. Why would Jonathan care about me? Well, he doesn't. It's just that, uh, I, well, I think he feels a little bit threatened since uh, you and I started working together. So, when he suggested that we fix you up with Leslie, well, I, I, I couldn't just say no. Why not? Well, because he might get the wrong idea. He might think that I didn't want to set you up because I did still care about you. Husbands can get very, very crazy. I know. It comes from living with wives. <laughs> Look. Ted, I failed at one marriage. I'm doing my damnedest to hold this one together, okay? Is our working together coming between you two? Because, I mean, if it is, heck, I don't want that. No, Ted, I don't think that I feel any more for you than you do for me, which is obviously nothing, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say nothing. Well, what would you say? Well, well, certainly more than nothing. Almost something. <laughs> That's about what I feel for you. Well, maybe not quite that much. <laughs> Look, I'll just tell Jonathan that he has nothing to worry about. You and I are just... Right. I'm so glad we cleared this up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, Jonathan's a hell of a guy. Good husband, good provider. You're a lucky woman. Thank you. But I hate this house, though. <laughs> Come home to NBC. Premiere week begins in just four days with the Monday night season premieres of Alf, The Hogan Family, and Monday Night of the Movies. Coming up next, it's L.A. Law. And Saturday is a night of special comedy. The Golden Girls, Empty Nest, Four Golden Girls, and a preview of a brand new comedy, Sister Kate, Saturday.